In this video, I'm going to show you how I put an aftermarket sub in the 2011 Honda Odyssey LX. So this Honda Odyssey van comes with a stock sub right here. And uh, this is the box for it. It says 2 ohm 50 watt. So it's a relatively low wattage sub. Um, you know, cheap stock stuff, right? So I, I put an aftermarket deck in this car, in this van. I have another video on how I did that. Uh, and that, when you put an aftermarket uh, deck in this car, it, it, it makes the uh, stock sub not work because the stock sub is powered by the uh, stock deck. So I knew I had a box here, that was good. Um, I, it's easy to hook, a uh, external aftermarket amp up to, uh, an aftermarket deck, obviously, and it's pretty standard install from there. So it was nice. I already had the box here. I still need to put a little silicone here where the wire goes in because it sounds really bad. Has a port, a stock port. Now, don't get me wrong. This box is not the correct volume for this sub, probably. So, you're not going to get that perfect, perfect bass that you would get if this was in a, a correctly sized box enclosure. Um, this amp is a kicker uh, DXA250.1. It's a mono uh, 250 watt at 2 ohm. This is a dual voice coil Serwin Vega sub, 250 watt RMS it can handle. And it's a dual 4 ohm, so I hooked it up, uh, wired it to 2 ohm, and wired it straight to the amp. Um, so that's really good, worked out really well. Stuff wasn't too expensive because it's relatively low wattage compared to some of the stuff out there. I ran the speaker wire, um, or I mean uh, the power wire, the RCA, and the remote wire on the same side of the vehicle, which you should not do because it will give you interference, but... It was easier, and um, I I wouldn't have had long enough uh, wire to go around around the other side and over. So I ran it. I took you, did, you pretty much have to take this whole uh, piece off. Took that off. Ran the wires down there, down along here with that piece off, down here under there, up into the deck that way, and then the power wire. I just used a uh, coat hanger to poke through the wiring harness up there. You can't really see it, but uh, I just poked a little hole through and then uh, taped the power wire on and fed it through there. Fuse underneath the intake uh, pipe and then onto the battery. So yeah, it, did. it sounds pretty good. I like it. Uh, much much better bass than the stock speaker even with the wrong enclosure but yeah um here i used uh i found bolts off a back of a tv and uh they worked in that thread and then i just this bolt's pretty long for the trailer harness thing whatever that is um so i just put a uh a, a nut on the end of that bolt to hold this in place so I, I'm hoping it's not going to overheat. Everything is concealed. You cannot see it once uh, I get this piece back on. It'll look stock. It'll appear as stock. And it will work as stock. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions on how I did things or how they're working, just uh, comment in the video. Here's the ground right here. That was the easiest part. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.